What the fuck is up? We're b- back, motherfucker. Well, we're sort of back. We're back, uh, like light back. We're going to be doing one or two of these a month because I'm down to just myself, my laptop, and two microphones because of the whole COVID shit. And I can't really justify bringing a bunch of people into somebody else's house, which is where my big podcast studio is located. It's just kind of unfortunate timing with me moving and everything, but we're going to make it work. Today's guest has a brand new album out called Story of My Life, or S-O-M-L for short. He is a hip-hop artist, Tan the Terrible, and also kind of across the table also speaking will be Mr. Brandon Hanley, a.k.a. Briggles, a.k.a. Klondike Flame. Get it in your fucking ears, bitches. I had a blast. It's been so fucking long since I got to do a podcast, and now I got to do one, and I'm stoked. Everybody, enjoy the episode with Tan the Terrible. Love that. We're back. It's Hello. been a month, I think, or more. <laughs> and mm, hideously tasting bush light. <laughs> well, I forgot it was Sunday, like I was telling him. So these are like our practice beers because they don't really hit you too hard and they go right through you. It's just easier to, yeah, you know, and you still get to drink beer. But this is what I had in the fridge. So that's what we get. Hey, man. <clears throat> Yes. All right. I'm going to say your names at the beginning, so let's just start talking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. So My what's name, up, man? What's up, man? How's it I going? I know. It's been strange, huh? Shit's been real. So let's just... <laughs> real strange. So we're all living in Corona times still currently. <sighs> corona. 19. <laughs> COVID, Yeah. But you were out in L.A., and then you came here right when it was, like, you know, really about to fucking nosedive. Yeah. And I was thinking, you have a different perspective than most of us, because you were out there. Was the vibe already kind of like, ooh? Like, oh, man, maybe. Oh, uh, well, when we was in New Zealand this year. Okay. I was on my way, bro. <clears throat> this before they ever even announced it, period. Mm-hmm. Right? Coronavirus hasn't announced yet. All right. So, like, the same day, we're about to do a festival with 1174. Yep. And they announced Kobe Bryant dies in a helicopter crash. Right. And then they, like, I'm going to say they around the same day, they also announced that a pandemic has occurred. There's about to be a pandemic that's occurred, and that is coronavirus. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, what the fuck? And I saw all these people in Hawaii wearing masks. And, like... Already? Before before I even even hit New Zealand, I saw, like, a strange amount of people wearing masks. Right. At the airport. So it kind of, like, you know, already kind of sketched me out a little bit. So I, I cut the line and was, like, making sure that me and little Cobain could get on this standby flight to New right. Zealand from Hawaii and we did but I remember that before they announced the coronavirus so then I'm thinking ding 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 that's why they was wearing those masks because they knew some shit that right. I you know I didn't Whoa. we didn't that's fucking trippy man but then you're out there and I know it was bro. and you gotta go home to LA from New Zealand, I'm. Sh- or did you come straight here from New Zealand, or did you go back home to LA first? I went to LA. I had to go to LA from New Zealand, and I had to go there with Lil Cobain, and we took two flights to get back home. And bro, like people's freaking out because they've already announced this shit. Some people think it's scarier because you know international it, travel. International oh. travel. I'm yeah. coughing on the airplane. I ain't gonna lie. Well, you, I know your flight here. Weren't you like fully hazmat suited? Like, well, I got a little bit sick over there. You did? No, I'm good. I'm good. In New Zealand, so I'm like, do, I like got a little, I got myself a little cold out there, and like I was coughing on the plane. People were kind of sketched out, but oh, I was really? fine. I was fine. I was fine. They literally, 
they literally uh, they checked our temperature when we stopped in the, the like. Petite. They checked your temperature. They checked me and Lil Cobain's temperature. Like we had to take two planes to get back to the Amer- America, and like we stopped in Petite Islands. So when was this? Like November? Polynesian December? Islands. The Polynesian Islands. Yeah. They stopped. At, they stopped there to get onto another plane, and they checked our temp. Because um, you were caught. Like, what? I was like, no, that not because I coughed. They were checking everybody. Oh, everybody. They were checking everybody. Is that just something normally they do, or were they already? They didn't aware check us when we got shit. to L.A. They didn't check us when we got to L.A. And but then this is before it got crazy, crazy. A month goes by. It's before America. This is, so so hey, America America like, knew about it, but they didn't. They thought they it. Had, saying shit. People thought they had it more can, under control oh, before right, it got community. Right, before it got right. community spread. Shit. Yeah. Before it got the community spread. So Ooh. then like it spread it started hitting community spread, San Francisco, Oakland, LA, and I'm hearing about it. And of course I always freak out to any kind of crazy thing that goes sure. on. So I I get on it. My, my my dad's like, Hey man, I'll get you a flight back home if you want to come home for a little bit. So that's what I did. What? No, he's good. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, your dad's like, I'll co- I'll get you a flight home. My dad's like, I, my dad's like, I'll get you a flight home if you want to come home for a little bit. Just, I'm like, yeah, I'll definitely come home. And then so, you're stuck. Yeah. Well, you're not stuck now. I'm not stuck now. I, I was stuck here for a little bit, just chilling, and it was cool. At least you didn't get locked down out there. At least, <clears> I mean, we had a little bit of freedom. I didn't know what it, yeah, we have a little bit of freedom out here in Arkansas. I do love that, you know. It's I'm crazy. not taking a full advantage like some motherfuckers out here. <laughs> They're going a little bit too crazy. But I don't want to be like in L.A. either where they're just straight fucking inside, not doing shit. The what now? The Corona Parade or whatever they did. I have not seen anything about a parade. It happened here in Little Rock, like a couple of blocks away from my house. Like, people is right when they Oh, in the parking lot, right? Is or is that the one where the people? All got on Asher. All on Asher. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a coronavirus parade out here in Little Rock. It went viral, actually. On yes, the, on, on, that's right. On the I internet. did see that. Silly yes. Silly, silly people. It but it's absurd. just like you know what, like it's whatever. Well, that's such a. I wasn't there. Odd thing. So you? I w- no, I was there. I was playing the tambourine. I was on the float. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I was the molecule, Dad. <laughs> I was I was Osmosis Jones float. There you go. <laughs> Osmosis Jones. That was me wearing the mask. I was the only one. <laughs> <laughs> That's just an interesting perspective. So you just dropped a new album. Yeah, just dropped a new album. Yup. <clears throat> Sorry. And then got. I'm not sick. That was a. There's smoke in the air. You're fine. Um, well, it's weird because I always cough because I smoke for so long. By the way, I this is that gas. Wow, no cigs. Yes. Yeah. And it sucks. And my, my mind is always racing now, which is kind of crazy. I, I realize I use cigarettes as like a mind numbing agent. Mm. It's something that really? Your ease. Yeah. That's how I feel about backwoods. So oh, I feel, yeah. That's how I feel about backwoods. That's how I feel like. I basically smoke probably as many cigarettes as you do backwards. Yeah. Vice versa. You smoke <laughs> as many backwards as he did cigarettes. Those yeah. are those cigars? They are. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Basically. Yeah. They're tobacco basically. Leaf? Yeah. yeah. So it's just straight up tobacco, like a, what a cigarette probably should be? I got you. We, we'll put you on. Okay. That sounds interesting. It doesn't have like... All the bad shit in it though, does it? Oh, that shit. Yeah, oh, you I know, know what about you're this shit. About. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know what you mean. Sorry. I'm a visual aid kind of guy. <laughs> visual aid. <laughs> I didn't get good grades in high school, is what I'm saying. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, did you were you working on that before all this shit went crazy? And then you had to finish it here? I was working on it last summer. Okay. When the all the earthquakes were going down in LA. Interesting. I have, a, I have an alternate version of my cover art that I never released because I don't like the manifestation that people people put in their cover art. Anyways, I won't talk about that, but I had an alternate version of my story of my life. 
album. Okay. And it was when I had it was. It was earthquake related. Yeah. <clears throat> so you've been working on it for a, a year, then close. I guess I was working on it for a year. Yeah, I'd say I was working on it about for like a year. Did you just keep everything, or did you come here and just redo like redo it with the same beats? Or uh, there's some songs that I definitely came back here and redid, mm-hmm. and there are some songs that I did there and brought back here and mixed on them. Okay. Yeah. So I want to say that most of the project though was written and recorded in L.A. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, all that shit was recorded in L.A. I just came back here and recorded a couple songs, but I wrote the songs there and recorded them. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, most of the song I re-recorded some of them, but most of the songs on the project, man, I recorded all of them in L.A., man. Gotcha. Hell yeah. Well, I'll talk. I came back here and re-recorded. Well, I feel like uh, at least in that realm, it's kind of a little bit easier for things right now because, you know, in my world where you have a whole band and they have like a, a, a limit to how many people can be in a fucking room and at one time, it's definitely a lot harder. Do you go, when you go to a studio, I'm sure you're used to like having like friends come, everybody's hanging out, having a good time, go in the booth, do vocal takes, or are you like a workhorse, it's like just me, a producer, get the fuck out. Let me do my thing. You know what I'm saying? What's more like your studio vibe? Because our shit is like, it's always so busy because it's always so constant. It's like drums are done. All right, guitar player, boom. All right, vocalist. I'm really laying out vocal tracks most of the time. And I want to say we're smoking gas <laughs> at the same time. So it's simultaneously smoking gas and recording vocals. <laughs> and that is it, basically nonstop. And then other than that, we'll mix on the song, but... I mean, I don't, we're not getting drunk in the studio because we have to drive back and like, right. yeah. Yeah, no. I'm, if, I'm, if I didn't have to drive back, if I wasn't the one driving, then I would get shit faced sometimes, but I don't record music that well when I'm drunk like that. I don't. I don't either. I can't record music high either though. I can't really. Fair. Start my <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can, I, don't, I can't perform well when I'm drunk either. I'm going to be real. I feel like if I was high or something i just start wanting to do comedy or something i just like have a speech impediment man just a little slur well when i drink i can't like i can't i can't who's to say i can talk right you know what right I mean? oh fair yeah well you meet well y'all probably drink a little different than when i drink i have like a beer or two y'all probably like glass of scotch say? yeah scotch jameson there, there's a something right there on the table is it Jameson in there? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Jamerson. Jamerson. So I can't do that shit, man. I can't do it. It's too... I know I'm a giant person, but that shit is... T- it works too well in my brain. That. Fucks me all the way up. Man, sometimes you can do that to me as well. <sighs> yeah. So, sometimes you can also <laughs> do me that way. Just where I get way should, too messed up off the yeah uh, the liquor. We only have two microphones too. I should say that because yeah. you know it's hey, all good. It's tough to I can't have a studio right now to do my podcast in. So normally we'd be in a place, but all good under the circumstances. Fucking, yeah, man. Well, have you noticed a difference <clears throat> since the Corona shit? Like uh, in like album. Not sales, I guess, because fuck who the fuck buys albums, but like upticks in streams and shit like that since everybody's home. I mean, I feel like if I had dropped it as soon as like that fir- that first month where everybody was like freaked out in the whole mm-hmm. U.S., that would have been a good time to drop if you was trying to make some Corona shit shake. <laughs> right. I mean, I guess now time is still a good time. People are definitely still in the house, but everybody's kind of still back to work out here. Mm. So I don't know. It doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like it's a difference to me because I also get a lot of my streams in a lot of other different countries. Gotcha. So it just, it, you know, it differs. I got you. I don't know. I haven't, I don't know, you know, because we haven't put out anything. I, we re-released a music video and it did okay, but. One thing that I would assume as a consumer of music is some people returning to work would mean that they're actually playing their playlist more often. It might be, And yeah. so getting yourself on the playlist would definitely be where it's at at this point. I think that's the whole thing to streaming, though, right? Isn't playlisting? Well, like- yeah, most of my stuff will get playlisted, and that's how other people in other countries 
hear this these playlists they get play they get played in restaurants cafes all all kinds of different places and they shazam these songs and they find you are like there's different ways of getting to your music that you would never expect these other these other people to tap into to hear your music right you know like i know you do music too Corey. so you know well i'm new to this streaming thing man our first single was Late last year, and we're new. that was the first fucking thing we ever put on streaming, and that's the same shit. We got people from other countries now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's fucking weird to me how that's the. You know, I'm old, man. I'm, I'm I admit it. I don't understand how it works. I don't know why it works, but that, apparently that's how you do it. That's what all my young friends told me to do, and it fucking worked. So they're right. I'm clearly wrong. <clears throat> Yo, but that's. I mean. I just assume being, uh, as, you know, because I have a whole band, it seems like it's easier to do shit when it's just you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you're tan the terrible. You, all you got to worry about is you. I mean, right. you can bring your friends along, but as far as, like, promoting yourself, it's kind of easy because you know exactly what you want. Who's that? That's Lil Cobain. Oh, is it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. What was the question again? No, I'm just saying, do you like do you like that? Like do, do you like that you just have to focus on yourself? I love just being able to focus on myself, but I also try to take in consideration other people's projects as well mm-hmm. and what they have to go, what they have going on and if I can contribute to helping them do their shit and more you of know. a community type thing. Yeah, you know, like I'm also down to help other people doing their shit like if they need me to go to the studio with them, bounce some creative ideas off each other. Like, I was, before the coronavirus, like, that's what I was into. Going to the studio with Goon, going to the studio with Goon and Lil Cobain, and just right. bouncing off, you know, music ideas off new songs, getting reference tracks down. Like, I miss doing that shit. Beat man. ideas, that kind of you shit. You still do that shit. Well, the beauty of the internet, you just send shit now. Well, fuck FaceTime, like brandon's doing right now <laughs> right what uh you got any plans to go back i assume you do yeah man i'm flying back next week next week oh shit yeah a couple of days well, this comes out tuesday no I, I would say you'd already be gone but uh next day the next day yeah wednesday how about that shit going back gonna get back to fucking normal life well somewhat normal life i guess they've opened up a little bit but i heard Shit's not going to really pop over there till like, July now or something. Yeah, man. We'll see how it goes. Everybody can still wear masks. People are going places. You know, it's cool. Right. I might go out to a, a retreat, like Joshua Tree. Nice. Have you heard of something like that before? Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. I might do that. Well, Joshua Tree is like the place, right? I've never been there. It's like some ayahuasca fucking shit. You go out there and... Find yourself. Find, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm all about that shit, man. So. I'm too afraid. I would love to, but I'm too afraid to do that. Fucking. I feel like I'm too afraid, too. I might not even do that shit. I could be totally capping right now, so I'm not going to say I'm 100% guaranteed into doing that, but I would love to go out away from L.A. I feel like I could just find myself just being out there, man. I don't need all the wild and crazy Me too. shit. I feel like I could just be out there in the woods and be fine. Yeah, just chill. Go out there, listen to the coyotes and do shit. a bunch of mi- miscellaneous. Out in the country. Yeah. Yeah, you were like an hour away or some shit. Yeah. Fuck. She, she fucking loved that shit. She passed out the whole <clears throat> ride back. Oh yeah, dude. Dogs love car rides. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> Do not like car rides, and some do. They have to grow into that shit. Oh man, some of them love it with that window down. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. You roll that window down. They're hanging out that shit. They're like, oh yeah, you yeah, fucked yeah. up. Let me roll this window down. Dude. So you going by yourself, dude? You going out yep. there alone? Mm-hmm. Nice. The Dolo Mish. That's how I like it. Yeah, I like. You know, you know what I'm saying, like. Space myself apart. Right. Do my shit. 
just get just go you know what i'm saying i'm gonna do everything the correct way man i I feel like this this time period gave me a lot of time to really just think about how to just be smart right with my next moves every Mm -hmm. every move got to be the best move i feel you man we've actually been working on that a lot too is like more calculated response yes and and, and really yes more calculated more Mm -hmm. i try to get myself more on schedule like just learn to work on things that i need to be working on and just Keep trying to make yourself, make myself better. I feel that. I feel that hard, actually. That's all we've been doing. Well, what the fuck else can you do, really? What else can you fucking do? Exactly. I feel like, I was talking to somebody the other day. It's like, dude, I don't think rock bands are going to be back for uh, fucking two years, almost. Fuck no, bro. Like, in full capacity, it's going to be two years. I think, I think it is, uh, I think... I think hip hop take this time to write the best ideas. That's right, and do more music. I think hip hop and like metal acts could. I think y'all will win streaming. I think country and blues is going to win live because you know the whole like oh it's a hundred people in a six hundred cap room twenty feet apart or some shit. That's country and blues. That's perfect for them. They'll take live for like a while, and then you know the extreme metal shit. I don't know, man. You better stream your ass off live stream concert stuff. You better get yourself viral, bro. That's right. You got to do something silly. You got to get on the TikToks. You got to get on. <laughs> yep. the, you got to get on. You, you got to get on. The, you got to get on all the social media. You got to flip yourself an omelet. You got to go <laughs> drive through and order get some frosted flakes yeah. through the drive through, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got apparently viral is the way to go these days. <laughs> you got to go viral, bro, and like you got to find some way to work your music in there too. Yup, keep it as a going. background track or something. Yeah, it's like, dude, how do you maintain this shit? <sighs> that's a good question, because that's what we're trying to fucking do as well. And, like, we want to record new shit, and we're actually about to start, but with all the restrictions, it's like, well, going to a real studio is going to be somewhat strenuous and kind of like a more than a chore than it already was, because we have so many people, so it's like we can go in groups or whatever. So now we're probably going to do it in home, at least some of it. The tracking probably in home. Why not? Do it, bro. That's the new wave. I know. I know, right? Fucking yeah, yeah. And oh, we got all the shit. I mean, it's just getting that shit, that master yeah. mix on that shit, where it just doesn't sound like a house demo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, luckily we have Nathan on our side now, and he's fucking. Cream of the crop with our yeah. stuff. He did our last song and he did a fucking amazing job. Is he good at mixing vocals? I think so. What's he, how did what did he what does he use? I don't know. I wasn't there. Well, when you hear this, I hope you DM me and let me know. I will. I'll, I'll fucking I'll message him. Jesus Ooh. Christ! How fast do you think that guy was going? Shit, For boy. reference, somebody just <laughs> flew past here. Well, that sounds like a fucking car toy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> If you heard that on this shit, man. They might have, dude. That dude was hauling ass. <laughs> that dude was going too fast. Too Holy furious. shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to being like more like focused on go. That's a good one, dude. I'm glad you brought that up because that's all the fuck we've been doing. We've been like sitting down every practice, which is rare. Normally we do it like once a month. Now it's like every fucking week. We're just like... What about this? What about that? We're so focused on our goals for when this shit's over that I feel like once it's finally over, we're going to have so much shit in the chamber. It's just going to be rapid fire. Just shit. Absolutely. You know what I think, man? I think drop a project in quarantine and then drop one when it's over. Yep. Or drop one and keep dropping them until it's over. Or single one, like put out a bunch of singles and then drop a whole thing True. after. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. There's just so many fucking options, but it's all internet shit. I think for the first time in history, it's gotta be all internet Aerosmith, shit. we're on the same level as whoever the fuck you can think of. Because the only avenue we got is the internet. Right. You know what I'm saying? So for the first time in a really long fucking time in musical history, everyone's kind of on the same playing field. Absolutely, bro. No one can tour. So, really, it's just up to you how the fuck you want to approach it, you know? Do you want to try the viral angle? Do you just want to put out the same old shit? Y'all got to do some viral shit that no one else is doing that's funny as fuck that people can repetitively keep watching and listening to. Short, funny things, segments. That's what I think it is. 
I'm just saying, like, uh, whenever they allow just, like, bands to, like, maybe set up inside of Vino's and perform with no audience uh, and stream. Hold on, hold on. See, I've already had this idea. Of course I've had this idea. Because yeah. that's all I think about is how the fuck can I get back on a stage for the last two months? <laughs> right. Okay, so to everyone listening, let's just put the call to action. I was doing some deep diving into this shit because right now, Tedford, you know, he's the guy doing all the live streams on the internet. He's the only one I've seen so far that isn't doing it from like a phone or like a single camera. He has a multi camera platform. He's got a whole studio. The mix is great. Haven't seen it. Well, he's leaving fucking Wednesday, but I was going to say I haven't seen any hip hop hacks. It'd be kind of fly. Dude, but. there's this guy downstairs in, in my apartment complex that has like a whole like performance setup. That's that what I, we. I bet I could get him to let me do, like, a live it's, stream. I'm telling you, man. I, I mean, I, he's got, like, a look, like a, it looks like a TRL Jesus MTV what? mannequin with the flowers. Like, dude. Oh, crazy. That's with fly, the, bro. With, like, <laughs> mics on mic stands, PA system. He's got, he's got, he's got, he's got, he, he probably used to work for TRL, just took all that shit when they called This fool is crazy, bro. <laughs> but I was like, so, like, dude, just a cheap, just with GoPros, man. I, the cheapest thing I could come up with for like three cameras was like two thousand dollars, but then you got to let somebody open the door. You're gonna have to have at least one other person there working the audio. So what's the what's the thing like ten people or something, well, or like, twelve people in the in the back space of Vino? Is I don't like, technically know the rules or anything, but I will say that I've gone out to places and seeing way more than 10 people well that ain't no shit i think your phone's over there bud it's in that chair most definitely is up there on the charger um so i've seen yeah i I get that uh briggles but at the same time just in my head i'd rather play to an audience online knowing that there are people watching than an audience that has to be like there's four people over here, then a hundred feet away is two people. Then like I would, that just seems, it's just not in my DNA to do that. Like why even do it at, at, you know, like if you want a live concert, you should be able to have a whole band, maybe even multiple bands. I would think so. These these bandmates are already practicing together. Most likely anyway, those are usually the people that are going to be hanging out in quarantine. You're going to be hanging out with the people in your band because you're still going to be carrying on with practices. You're going to hopefully be writing songs. So I have something new to listen to, uh, calling out every band right now on that one. Uh, (laughs) we've been practicing, but also we're blessed with like a pretty good size practice space and we just got a newer, bigger one. So, you know, my practice space. Yeah. We got one that's four times the size. Yeah. Which also, what? Keep saying what you were saying. Oh, I was just going to say, which is nice for us because now we have more room for activities. That's oh, what yeah. I was going to say. Oh, <laughs> and oh, we, know, building, we know what kind of activities. Yeah. And I'm about to build a studio in my backyard, but that's not till the end of the year. So that's why we're moving to this new location. That's Winky hot. face. So now... When people come over, I'll have a full blown studio for anything. Which will be and awesome. I will come over. Yes, please get auto tune. I would hope that you would because it's going to be awesome. Please I'm get the auto tune. Trying to make my backyard a a heavenscape for, you know, doing doing rad shit. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so sick, bro! Oh my god, you never have to leave. I that's what I'm trying to do. To be honest, that's what I'm trying to make it. That's the best thing to do is if you find your happiness where you never have to leave somewhere. That's right. Then like that's all you need, G. You just be at home, and somebody will just. But you gotta up. go viral with the shit and take it up the that's next right. level, and then like get, a fucking. Uh, and eventually, you need to take it on road. That's what everyone has to do. Like a show, like yeah. make your antics like a show, like a. Yeah. Like the the skate, who the fuck's the skateboarding guys that do that the, with the bikes and shit? What's their fucking name? Nitro Circus. Nitro Circus. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah, Rob Deerdick or something. You got to get fucking sponsored by Spotify. You see what Joe Rogan just did? Dude, what the fuck? Yes. He got $100 million and now he's going to be on Spotify only. Yeah. Only. Yeah. But for $100 million. $100 million Spotify deal. He just cut straight to the fucking source. You know what I'm saying? 
I, I'm, I'm a little conflicted. Here's my two thoughts. I don't, I'm not saying I'm married to these thoughts, and my, my opinion could be swayed if somebody had a decent argument about it. But a hundred million fucking dollars for a podcast, dude, something they're not really even known for because they want to push podcasting, or you could just give more money to the artist because you already pay the least than any streaming platform. What I think is... I kind of think it's kind of bullshit, in my opinion. I, a lot of people probably do, but... But when people think of podcasts, a lot of people immediately think of Joe Rogan. Oh, a hundred percent. Without even I mean, listening yeah. to him Joe and Rogan. Joel Olstein are like the two top. And it's like, the, oh, that what's a po- podcast? Oh, you thought you talking about Joe Rogan? Like, right? They don't even listen to it. You yeah, know, he gets that's like ten million. That's exactly what they episode. know. He gets more views than the news, man. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I think people that have probably seen him probably trust him a little bit more than the news. So well, that's probably why he gets so many. Well, I think they just prefer not five-minute clips. That's what I prefer. Yeah. I don't like the news because it's just five minutes of just people slandering each other, and you don't really get anything yeah. from it. It's I a like lot it. of highlights, but not any yeah. actual... There's no substance. Yeah. And and how fucking how can you get your point across in five fucking minutes without screaming at somebody? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't like to be too political, but I feel you. I just think that him getting a hundred million dollars because they're trying to push their. Hey, podcasting. I think Chance the Rapper got like a lot of money too for like an Apple or Spotify deal too. Oh, oh, did he do like the Apple uh, radio shit? I think so. Or some, show? or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, I know Drake has one too. That's Apple Beats Radio. That's yeah. it, right? Beats Beats One or some shit. I don't know I though. Have man. an Apple deal. Yeah, Apple. Yeah, because Apple bought Beats and then they turn it into a radio program. Yeah. Which I don't. I don't. Do y'all listen to that shit? Spotify is going to take over, man. Well, I think Spotify they are is winning. really just going to take over everything. Radio, everything. You think they're going to take it all though? Really? I hope not. I hope not. Just but me. Personally. I feel like they want to. Physical. Physical. There you go. Wall full of fucking vinyls. There you go. Hey man, did you sample any? Shit on this album from like old school methods? No, I did not. No, no. Oh, that was a quick answer. It was a terrible question. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could tell you I did, but then the, you can't I, tell you about Ian. I can tell you about Ian though, the producer. Okay, tell me about him. Yeah, man. Well, that's my cousin. He produces all my beats. Him and Mock Solo produced two songs on there. Uh, Walk Talk and False Eyes They both co-produced the song And then I had Tommy from uh, Terminal Nation On Tommy's interlude Nice Yeah Hell yeah Yeah That's fucking awesome Yeah Did he play guitar on there? Yeah he, That's him The whole guitar Fuck yeah And then my then Ian put some like sub bass And like some drums on there Through FL Studio Fuck yeah dude Yeah Hell and, yeah. and I just put some auto tune vocal tracks on it. Just tried some bu- some shit, you know. I, I almost said some bullshit, but that song <laughs> actually ended up turning out to be not some bullshit. So, <laughs> <clears throat> how long does it usually take from start to finish when you're writing a song? Do you typically come with to a producer or like, hey, I have this idea, I want it to kind of go like this, and here's these lyrics. I kind of want it to flow like this, or is it the other way around, where like, say, Ian will send you something, and you're like. Let me fuck with it for a little bit. See what I can come up with. It, I would say I would give you a different answer if you asked me this last year. But yeah. now I really just come up with the concept of the song two or the day of or sometimes a week or two before. Okay. It doesn't really take me too long, man. I usually write a verse or I write a hook. And then I don't write anything else. And I go into the studio and just do it pick, right there. I pick up improv, rest of the okay. vibe off of what I've already done. I like that approach. Or I'll, I'll ha- or I'll have a song where I have the hook and a verse already done that I recorded in L.A. and I'll bring it back here, add another verse to it that matches the rest of the song. Hell yeah! Do you like doing that, floating between different studios uh, to get I, different I, vibes? Man, I don't know, man. I guess I, I, I'm always down to. I feel like I'm going to have to get used to that. Right. Regardless. Yeah. But, you know, like, I 
like that comfortability of having that one studio that you know is fire as fuck right. that you can always get into with that one engineer. Like that's always going to be stupid tight. Right. But that's a perfect world that we, none of us live in. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, yeah. that's, yeah. per, that's not in a perfect world none of us live in. But yeah. some people do have, yeah, especially when you move back and forth and you're all over the place, different studios and shit. I guess it all matters until you pop. True, because then you can just put that spot in your house. Because then right. you got the fucking funds to do. Or so. like, if you're if you're popping, people are gonna want you to pull up to their studio to record, and you're gonna get paid regardless. So right. it, it won't even matter. Right. I charge That's what ten. I'm trying to say, you know, it's ten for a hook. Yeah. You know, and then I, all right, I pull up. I pull up at nine thirty at Noise Nest. There you so go. So it's like, all right, well, shit. Oh, I get I'm it. Not, totally, I'm not dude. to that point yet, though. So getting there, though. But yeah, man, with the production of Ian Eastern and Mox so that whole album is just is stupid tight. Hell yeah! And I love their production, man. Let's talk about the animation thing you did too, man. Oh yeah, the animation, man. Uh, Magic Mountain. This dude named Josh Burke. He's from Boston. Fuck yeah! And I guess I met him through Goon, basically, on Instagram, through the internet. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that he had made Goons. I mean, I guess it made sense. It's just because I didn't see... I went to, When I went to his page, mm -hmm. Josh Burke's page, Magic Mountain, on Instagram, uh, I didn't see him post Goons' work. But I guess it kind of matched did the stuff. Did he do the album art? It it, well, it, he did all this Maniac Sound stuff for him. So I guess, like... It just matched the animation. Like I'm like, all right, this is the dude that's making goon stuff, mm. and I'm like already in talks with doing animation with him. I'm like, I'm trying to do some animation. I'm fucking with the shit that's on your page that you did for yourself already off right. rip. So I, he was like, you know, we talked budget and everything, and I basically was like, man, do your own thing, but I like teddy bears. <laughs> and I have a teddy bear chain. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> And I didn't know he was going to make my hair. See, there's different versions of my hair. Right. Throughout the album. Like, there's like four different hairstyles, four or five different hairstyles throughout the album. So, That's like, wild. That's so, yeah. You are the king of fucking crazy hairdos, man. Yeah. I think the, the fucking straight 80s tiger. The tiger hair is when I went to New Zealand. So, that wow. was like, I guess, a good part of the album. That was this year, so I guess that was a good part of the album. But there's also, like, you know, there's a part of the project where my hair is purple and I have, mm -hmm. like, crazy-ass, like, music designs on the side of my head. And then there's a part, there's this one part of the album where half my hair is blonde and half red and have a yin-yang. Oh, yeah. 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 And That's the hair you had when we did the Goons podcast. Yeah, together. I did. Yep. Yeah, that was the hair I had then. And then even before that, my hair was blue and green. Damn. But I don't think, I don't know if I had started on the album like stupid hardcore just yet when my hair was like that. That was the end. That was the, yeah, that was like the end of a, that was the start of an era right there. But I would say the project started when my hair was half blonde, half red. Nice. So like I could have another animation where my hair is different, man. Like That's there's tight. different versions of me. I think animation's the way to go. We were talking about it earlier before we started. The yeah, podcast. it's really sick, man. And with all the, uh, cause like with, he was like, he's already got could, goons character built. Exactly. He's got my character built. He it's can, built. Now he can, he can do anything. So right? I might add little Cobain and we might do the oh, Vivian chain song. That would be tight. That would be if so you, If you get cool. to peep that song on the project, I don't know if you got to that point yet. I don't think I have, man. I it's like the, one of the last, Okay. Second to the last song on the project. I made it through a couple mowing the lawn this morning. Not gonna oh, lie. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, the first part of the project probably had you jumping. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to mow your lawn, too. I know that much. Well, well, yeah, I mean, ass. shit, bro. I mean, damn. Now, I, I never thought about it like that because I told you, man, I ain't really fucking with mowing no more. I did that You're shit right. most of my life. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that if I had some headphones, like some Apple headphones, some good ones, I would probably mow the fuck out of my... Yard to my own album. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, because I know that shit was probably thumping, man. It was. It was good. I like. I love what I got. You know, it was good. <laughs> Damn. The, that but, walk talk song. With the, yes. When I did the animation, did you make it through that one? 
Uh, maybe I was in that one. I can't remember because I fucking hit a, f- a buried ass pile of weed eater string, bro, and it exploded. Fuck. Oh. And my motor shut off instantly. It was fucking crazy. And then it, then it was just all kind of a blur from there because I had to Damn, do bro. adult shit, like fix my fucking mower at 830 in the morning. <laughs> Jesus. That is the last thing anyone wants to fucking do. Yep. That's how my day's going. <laughs> but now I'm here drinking beer with you guys. And it's way more fun. Fuck yeah. But like I, I like the animation aspect because you can kind of do things. That you can't normally do. Like earlier before you got here, he was like, yeah, like I got have you like in New York eating pizza breakdance. And I was like, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> Imagine Corey Fisher breakdancing <laughs> on cardboard eating pizza in, just, in just downtown a, Brooklyn. Just a fucking gut, like a greasy t-shirt <laughs> on, dude. <laughs> Looking like fucking Geppetto. <laughs> Bro, but he's doing the fucking like finessing at the fucking breakdance, dude. Right. It's like, he's doing this effortlessly, bro. Like, he's been doing this his whole life. Oh, my God. That's so perfect, dude. What, what do you get on your pizza? So I have more. What do I get on my pizza? Oh, dude, it's just fucking uh, meat or cheese only. What about mushrooms? Nah. All right, you ain't fucking with mushrooms? Nah, I don't fuck with nothing <laughs> except. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not fucking with mushrooms either. I'm getting pineapples on that shit. You put green beans on a pizza, man? <laughs> they put everything else on there I put Chick-fil-A on my pizza bro Fuck That'd I bet be that would be fire as fuck dude. <laughs> <laughs> The power of Christ compels you <laughs> Nah I haven't done that yet But hey bro I, I will Ooh, A do- spicy chicken sandwich dude spicy. Cut that up and put it on a pizza No Ooh. I want the spicy chicken sandwich <laughs> Don't get me Dude don't get me talking don't, about food man Yeah I can't ruin that I can't ruin that. <laughs> I put it in a blender and then I fucking just dump it all over the pizza. <laughs> oh, God. Put a fucking, fucking Chick fil A burger sauce. Like, <laughs> oh, it was a burger. Now it's a sauce. <laughs> yeah, bro. And we feeding it on the food trucks and we're not telling him what it oh, is. Oh, my we're God. We tell him that it's the Crash Cow special. <laughs> Yo, you want to be fat? This shit will make you fat. Fat. And it's got Chick-fil-A sauce in it. That's all you need to know. That's all we're going to tell you. Crash cast sauce. Oh, my God. Crash cast sauce. Y'all heard it first. He going to make that shit. Crash cast sauce. That would be fucking incredible. Dripping. <laughs> so, do you have a... Uh, I, I, fucking, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if you're like me. I miss playing live like so much. Yeah, man. I miss playing live, too. I, I got to do it one time this year, though. Did you? No. Nah. You didn't get to do it once in 2020, bro. Our last show was the... Uh, help the, me, Brandon. The, uh, the cover show. Our last show was the cover show, and I had one, no shit, two... No, three weeks. And it was three weeks away, and then they announced it. And then when we still held off, we were like, let's not cancel. Let's not cancel. It was a lame Johnny show. Uh, let's just hold off and see... And because maybe, just maybe, it'll go through, you know, because, you know, the restrictions were real weird at that time. Right. And then, exactly, but those bands that we were playing with were from somewhere else, and they were like, we're canceling the whole tour, so then the show just drops. So, no, man, I haven't fucking played at all, and it sucks. Damn. I've got to do some live streams, and that was fun, because you get to, like, interact in a way you wouldn't normally do at a show. Right. Almost like stand-up comedy, really, like. You'll play a couple songs and you'll be like, yo, ask us questions and they'll ask you stuff and you get to, you know, go back. There's some back and forth, you know, like you wouldn't do that at a live show. You wouldn't stop a track and be like, you, sir, in the blue shirt. What do you think of these shoes? (laughs) You know, (laughs) I would, though. You would? (laughs) Yeah. That's the thing. I guess that's the difference between us, Corey. You know, I would actually like to see that. I would love to be at a concert and someone just stop and be like, hey, DJ, stop that shit. Hey, you right there. What you think about these shoes right here? Hey, that's a great cut. Do that. (laughs) (laughs) I will. And if they don't like it, then I mean, like, shit, I'll give them the shoes. (laughs) (laughs) These were Elvis's shoes. Yeah. (laughs) I heard it here first. If he asks you if you like the shoes and you don't, he'll give them to you. <laughs> yeah, shit. Damn it, man. Dude, I fucking miss it so much. And I, I don't think in my world we're going to be able to do it for a long time. I think we're going to be all live streams for quite a while. Really? Yeah. Bro, you should see if y'all can go out in the middle of fucking uh, 
Dickie Stevens ballpark and fucking perform in the middle, bro, and live stream that shit. That'll be way, way more of a cool background. And, like, bro, people could sit in the stands and eat fucking hot dogs and shit, bro. What is it? They did the math, I think, for Verizon. Well, what's it? Simmons Bank Arena now. I'm just saying you can space out way more. There's 15,000 people, right? I think, I think, what did they say? It was, like. 1500 or something is the max capacity you can It'd have. It'd be tight with the band. But you like, think? I mean, me walking around fucking, <laughs> I'm not going to look too cool. No, I don't think, I don't think, honestly, dude, I don't think hip hop, rap, rock, I don't think anybody's going to vibe on that until it's, there's, because there's something that's conveyed, you know, when you put the energy out, it goes to me, it goes to the next guy, we're standing next to each other, we're having like a fucking moment. And you're in that moment, but when you're ten feet away, but when you're 10 feet away that energy yeah, doesn't go over. I there. agree. No, I agree. I'm not going to disagree. Me and Brandon actually were talking about this shit the other day. Hip hop is the new rock and roll. It's the biggest platform there is right now. Period. And live, I didn't even know this until I started hanging out with all y'all guys. You know, in the last year or two, and it's just like, oh, it's out of fucking control. It's not like it when I was young. You went to a rap show, you stood there. Nobody did nothing. You just kind of like this. Maybe you moved an arm or some shit. Now you got wash pits and fucking all kinds of crazy shit. Hence why Travis Scott got arrested in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what were you going to say to that other point? Um, shit. I might have lost my train of thought. Oh, don't lose your train of thought. Not on a podcast that's known for deviating. Just say some other shit. <laughs> Well, what I was going to say, sorry about that. Uh, blame it on the smoke. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Uh, the deal is, although I feel you on that, uh, with the shows being spaced out, I feel like they're going to do it in the pods thing. So, like, the pods uh, what thing. I, yeah. So, like, you can go there oh, with like a, a pod with of 10. people. Right, right, yeah, right, right. Ten, I, I've heard it's 12. Is it 12? You can do 12. Okay. I don't know if that's true. I know true. that you have to be, uh, every show is going to have uh, a gap. You 12 foot gap from stage to actual starting of people. And then also there would be a 10 foot gap between you Each and pod. the other pods. Right. Exactly. But I mean, but at least that's that- something for now. I don't really know who's going to take advantage of that. I'm not going to necessarily even suggest that it will be successful. Big viral moment. But- I'm going to go big viral, bro. Listen, bro, you really want to go crazy, bro? Go live stream me performing on the Eiffel Tower in Paris, bro. I'm going to go climb that shit. <laughs> bro, everybody put it. Dude, we'll get a bunch of spotlights. We'll have to rent out the spotlights, bro. I'm talking about, dude, that shit is going to go insane. Instagram live that shit, bro. We'll go fucking crazy, bro. Right, I got to climb something like historically insane. Yeah, I was going to say, how are we all going to get there with these spotlights? We well, we can't really get there anyways because bro, the fucking airports are probably closed off. Dude, yeah. Are you could, like, is that in the U.S.? Yeah. Yeah, most bro, of we got to go perform on some crazy monument that's like just Do insane. the Hollywood sign, G. The Manhattan building or the Hollywood sign. Something that no one should climb up, bro. That just, is, that'll just make... The news, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Hollywood sign would definitely make the news, but anyway. Ooh, the Hollywood sign would be insane. Do it on H, man. Dude, <laughs> do it on H, man. No. <laughs> 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 no, sir. Yeah, man, that's what Hollywood used to be about. No, I'm just playing. But uh, nah, uh, I probably would do some. Cra- I want to do some next level insane shit. You got to. We got to I want that. to. Sorry, when you mix audio and like the microphones get all screwed up, it's such a motherfucker because I have to uh, cut yeah, and yeah, copy yeah. and all this shit. Well, but, uh, I was talking about man performing on the Eiffel Tower or some crazy shit. Someone need to, someone need to take a microphone, plug it up to the whole entire community. That would be insane. And just go next level streaming. Or make it look like they're there, some shit. You know what? He might be on to something. Because remember when the people were singing out of the balconies in Italy? That shit went viral. Yeah. So maybe singing from a structure into public without... So people aren't around, but you're singing so they can hear it. Yes. Then, or ah. you have a mic. Or you have like a built-in 
for like real, amp yes. or something, and you can just talk, or you have a megaphone and you're performing, and like, or you have like just some, set up a or big you some ass kind of PA DJ. System. You just have yeah, you big go. ass PA system, wireless mic. But you it's just climb you. Up, you, dude, you and a DJ, rooftop. You climb, you climb up there. You're fucking screaming. I'm hanging off the fucking bull. I'm hanging off the shit with Gunda Garcons off the there Holiday Inn, bro. <laughs> Top we, of Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> We screaming that shit with Corona mask on. That would be so fucking awesome. I, w- I mean, you couldn't help but watch, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to do some crazy shit, man. They lucky. They lucky. I can't fly to Brazil right now. Cause what, what's that monument they got out there? The Jesus thing. Yes, the Jesus thing. I'll the, go with his arms out. Christ dude. air is what I call it, cause that's a skateboard move where dude, you hold your arms yes. out. Or right, dude, we'll just have to like <laughs> finesse it and like green screen and make it look like we're there. There you go. Die, see, so just do that. That's way easier. I know you got a friend with Final Cut Pro. You got Holly <laughs> Weird, man. You got all the friends. There's a way, man. Shit. Huh? There's a way. There's a way how to do everything nowadays. 100%. You can you can make yourself look like you're on Instagram Live somewhere else, but your Instagram Live took place earlier. What? See, yeah, I'm see, I'm not even there. I'm sure there's ways to do it, man. I'm just like, man, how do I make my Phone footage look more cinematic. <laughs> That's where I'm at. <laughs> What's so, uh, damn, I really wish you had listened to the album, man. I got a couple of songs in, but then my lawnmower exploded with Weed Eater String. Hey, man, it's because you got a red lawnmower. Yeah. That shit's that classic OG breakdown shit. I feel you. Yep. I, I've been through about eight of, eight of them lawnmowers <laughs> yeah. in my lifetime. You can't own a red lawnmower and not expect the motherfucker to stop working. <laughs> Dude, no, I've, I've had a lawnmower one time that... <laughs> have you had those? Have you used a lawnmower that has the double acceleration on the front wheels and the back yes. wheels? Yes, yes, yes. That man, when someone made those, they really did some shit with that. They really did. What they are did. the What are those things called? I think they're just self propelled lawnmowers. Self propelled lawnmowers, and you just hold down the two. Yep, man. That is some that is some wild God shit. God damn. Yo, and my yo, my dad just got one. Hey, check this out, dude. Let's talk about some stupid shit. My dad just got one that goes with your speed. So if you speed up, it speeds up. If you slow down, it slows down. It's smart. Like it knows that you want to mow fast or slow. Or maybe you're around some shit. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, exactly. It slows down with you. Oh, It'll dig down in the yard, and now you got ruts and shit in your yard. <laughs> I wish I could just get on a ride on mower and just fucking put my headphones in and listen to, listen to set your goals on my iPod Nano right now. Literally, literally, when that happened, my wife goes, we need to get you a riding lawnmower. I was like, yes, and some over-the-ear headphones. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because then, then that's when mowing is fun. Right. That's it, dude. You got a beer, dude. A beer. Your headphones. You're listening to podcasts or what? your friend's album. This sounds like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? You just got a blunt hanging out of your mouth with your shirt off, just like. Dude, let's talk about some stupid shit. <laughs> I feel it, man. So what's next, man? Let's get to what's next. What is next? I know it's kind of hard to think about, but have you put any thought into what's next? What's next, uh, man? There's different projects that are dropping, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel like hopefully we'll, Goon, Goon just dropped the Maniac tape. Mm-hmm. I just dropped my tape. Um, Johnny Vine's about to drop his tape. Me and him, right. me and him have a collab project that we don't have a name for it yet, but uh, we have like okay. we have a bunch of songs, like over like six, seven songs for that. What about Lil Cobain? Is he putting out anything? He he also just dropped he just dropped Courtney. That's right. Yeah, Lil Cobain dropped Courtney, and anyways, I really wish he would drop the deluxe version. The deluxe version. Yeah, the deluxe version of Courtney. I need that to drop stat. But um, I also have a you know I'm working on a project. I could drop a deluxe version of my project too if I wanted to. Yeah. I have a lot of songs with. Goon, I have a lot of more songs with Cobain, I have a lot of songs with a lot of people. I think we're at a point now where it's just like, well, content's content, it's all going to the same avenue, so... Fuck it. Just, I think a live stream would be fly, though, man, you should do that. I, I do, you know what, I need Maybe to send you, you the link, LA. I need to send you a link that Uniwas sent me where you can live stream from all your platforms at one time. Fucking what? Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, please send me that. 
Because we yeah. have been literally trying to figure out a way to do that shit for weeks now. Yeah, man. Because we want to do another live stream from the next from the next practice space yeah. we're getting. Because it's bigger, yeah. you know? We'll have, like, more room. Dude, please send me that. That yeah, would be I will. so sick. Yeah. Shout I haven't, out to I haven't been able to use it, but... Beautiful human. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to have to get him to reset it to me because, bro, I had to reset my phone. Oh, that's all good. I lost a lot of my lyrics. I just messaged him. I lost a lot of my lyrics, man, because I reset my phone, but <gasps> I dropped the album. I got the album off. We're good. You did? At oh. least... You don't cloud your stuff? You don't put it in the in the cloud? It wouldn't. It was too full to back up. <gasps> oh, no. But it's all good, bro. I just... I can write new shit. Bro. I would be so sick. No, no it's I don't write good. enough to to write new shit. It's all good, bro. I write like I, a song I, a year. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I got the songs that I need out, out. Okay, so all that was in there was just like takes for new shit. No, I mean the songs that I have that are still stupid fire. I have. Oh fuck, damn. Maybe you're fucking right. Oh fuck. Oh, no. Let's not bring up bad things. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking like the little Cobain antenna terrible tape might be gone. I don't know. Let's look. Bro, I pay like five bucks a month for like a terabyte. You gotta... Oh, no. Are we finding out bad news on here? This is not what it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, no. First podcast back and we're getting bad things. <laughs> Hold on. Nah, no, no, no. Also, thanks for letting us use your beautiful home, Brandon. Yeah. I could... I could take this time to tell people that we won't be doing normal podcasts for a while. It's going to be a very different vibe. I have my portable rig. Do you have any of... Damn. Uh-oh. Did I ruin the mood? No, not Shit. at all. Fuck no. Hell no. Nah. Because there's so much more heat out there, bro, that I can just obtain that's on my... Fair enough. And Cobain is right back where you're headed, man. Yeah, Cobain is right back where I'm headed. That's we'll, right. We'll probably make more hits, man. That's right. Yeah, we'll make more hits. I'm not tripping. That is exciting. You should definitely do I wanna that. Know, I want to know if I probably... I had to have emailed myself some of these songs. That's or or, oh. or I need to have some of them. I bet you did. Because I, I do that shit. I'll email it to I a probably, friend or text. Yeah, yeah. I probably texted it to people and they probably saved them. Or, dude, on, on a, is that an iPhone? You can go back yeah, for fucking years. Yeah. I, I have some of them. Really the Luca Cobain songs that I have? I don't know. Let me see if I have them in files. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have so I many fucked songs. Up, with man. This. I fucked up by just like. Nah, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Damn. Yo, so let me, here's a good question for you, man. I've seen it in stand-up comedy already. And I don't know when I'm going to see it in music. I know, like we had, we had that country guy here in was it Fort Smith? He did like that concert, and everybody was like, "What the fuck, dude?" And it was like, recently. though it was very recent. It was like the first concert in all of America, I think. Since no, 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 it happened already. It did happen. But like, what I'm thinking is, okay, hypothetical question. So there's been a couple of standups do it too, but it's in other states. If something was brought to you would you go to another state that's a little more loose with their uh you know restrictions i don't know if i could do it man i don't know if i could do it like if they were like yo we have a tour it's three states we most definitely would take that you think (laughs) yeah no no questions even if it's like well here's the deal though you're gonna have yeah it's a thousand seat room but there's only 200 people allowed in the building and they're going to be in those weird little pods. I'm hoping if you're getting hit up to go and do something like that, that those people that are in those pods are really, really rooting legit. to be there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I, you're probably also going to be live streaming it. I would hope that every venue uh, in America, across the world, whatever, sets that up because that would be the smart move for them at this point. You just think. to, you know. But a lot of venues, man, we already lost our first one. We we lost low key arts over this. It's gone. Um, well, exactly. So get your revenue up. You need to start a patron account. You need to start a live stream. I think patron, you need to charge for it. Patreon and easy. I think, I think yes. I think you need to start an love, OnlyFans. I would love man. to see Vinos. I'll be like, your OnlyFans. Vinos, Vinos. Or Stickies or Rev or any one of the fucking three that we have left. Like, hey yo, you pay me. You're you're a band. You're paying me now. 
okay, cool. But let me stick my cash app on there. Let me stick my merch link on there so I can make money from like the live stream. You know what I'm saying? Um, possibly. I would say it should like, still be a almost a split like uh, the door at a venue. But how um, do you have a paywall on there, though? How, how would you paywall a live stream? Is there sites for that? Yeah, I mean, if you set up like a patron account where it's like they pay like a certain amount for each, uh, like you can charge them for each uh, article that you drop, you know? Really? I, I believe, like, I know OnlyFans, you can do that. It's like there's a subscription amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying and then you get like a, I'm saying in real time, like Twitch or something. But I'm live on Twitch, but it's $3 to get into this live stream. Well, that's why I'm saying the venues need to go ahead and pre-set up mm. a patron You're account. Saying, okay. And I they need to be able to like, all right, well, this no. night we're going in with... And then it's already there. Exactly. So even two weeks from now, you're like, oh, shit, I missed the fucking... I can go ahead and stream this I now. I missed Martyr playing. Oh, well, I can go and fucking just pay three bucks and see Martyr playing. If play you're at else. work, you right. can still catch the show. Honestly, Damn. this might have been something that should have been started prior to COVID because how many people have to miss shows due to work, it, 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 well, just kids, life, yeah. life yeah, yeah, anything. Damn. Did you find it? Missing. There's, oh, there's no. three songs that I'm missing. There's Eject featuring Lil Cobain. There's Nitrous featuring Lil Cobain. And there's uh, I Can't Be On Shit featuring Lil Cobain. Oh, no. Got to hit up Lil Cobain and see if he's got I them. did. Damn it. I'm texting him right now. Oops. I texted other people, too. <laughs> well, hopefully you text it to people and they can like go find Save it. Save that shit. Yeah. Fuck my life, bro. I'm sorry. It's all good, bro. I'm texting him right now. I said, hey, man, we finna make some more. <laughs> he said, bet. So hopefully Damn. we can make some stupid type music in these Corona times, man. I think you will. He likes to drink Coronas, too. Yeah, they took a hit. <laughs> some of them did. Some of them. Some people want to drink the shit more. I, uh. Goes both ways, I guess. I don't know. But I, I I've been drinking really shitty beer as of late, to be quite honest. That's how you do it, though. Just saving my pennies, you know, because the thirty pack of this shit's fucking. Does it get $8. you? Does it get you? Does it get you where you need to go? Yeah, enough of them, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I'm like uh, one, two, three, four. I need about seven more of these to be where I'd want to be. But yeah, I feel that. But it's all good. This just fucking basically water with some hops in it. It's shit. I wish I had a cucumber Gatorade. Do they still make that shit? Yeah, they do still they? make that shit. It's like I, an actual, like, f a permanent flavor. It's a full-time flavor. flavor? Oh, okay. It's a full-time flavor now, baby. Yeah, I'd be so mad when I don't <laughs> see that shit in the store. I'm like, oh, they ain't getting my money today. Oh, I thought that was <laughs> one of those, like, uh, uh, this month we're doing this one, and next month we're going to have fierce well, yeah. whatever. Nah, gee, they got that fucking cucumber Gatorade permanently. People love cucumber stuff. It's good, stuff, man. It took man. me a while to even get to, like, one away. I'm like... I'm not going to waste my money on this Gatorade, but I tried it, and it was like, dude, this is slapping. They say it's very refreshing. It's 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 100% refreshing. I don't know if I could get past the flavor. Dude, no. It's like the flavor is refreshment. Really? Yeah. All right, I'll try one. It's like a, a, I haven't it's tried like, it. It's like a melon, lime really? flavor, cucumber flavor. It's like a melon. It's like a mel cucumber melon. So mm. it's, like, it's like a Gatorade. It's like a punch of Gatorade. You know what I'll I'm saying? I'll try it. So it don't really taste like cucumber. So don't go into it thinking you're eating cucumber juice. Because see, that's what, yeah. Well, that's why. That's not like, what it nah. is. That's not what it is. I, I see. What, my brain immediately goes to cucumber in water for like three years. No, it's and not cucumber. It's I'm not drinking. cucumber water. It's like, bam! Like it's got that punch of Gatorade that you need. It's like just a refreshing punch of Gatorade. Okay. With melon flavor. I'll try it. I'll yeah, try it. Yeah, it's fire, man. I, I fuck with it way more than the green apple one. See, I always go to like Shout the. Out. Gatorade, Gatorade needs, needs to sponsor Crash Cast and oh. Tan the Terrible. I wish anyone would sponsor this podcast. Dude, I gonna, do have merch for sale, please, God. I think. Right? Yeah, I think TC Helicon needs to sponsor me and Monster oh, Cables. <laughs> TC Helicon would be a great one. 
Yeah. Be a great fucking sponsor. I would also like SJC drums. I would like dream <laughs> symbols while we're at it. Promark drumsticks. <laughs> yeah, man. And, uh, you know, PV, if you're out there and you're listening, man, hook a boy up with an orange amp, too. Yo. <laughs> hell yeah. Yo, they just dropped a line of headphones. Really? Orange, orange just came headphones? out with headphones. Yes. Whoa. They're monitors. They're studio series monitors. So yo, they're like, 20, they got the, they yo, got yo, the guitar plug in. Yo, yo, there's... 27 hour battery life 27 hours bluetooth and how much and they are got they a wire how much too, are they though. 116 and they're american a, not they euro a, from are they a guitar center right now no hell no they just dropped you got to get them from their website damn you yeah. have to cop those yep i'm gonna be ordering are they some orange in the, yes and black and they have a fucking like viking lady on the side of them i don't know why but it's awesome so can as you fuck. listen to them through your iphone yes it's Bluetooth. Oh, my You can computer anything, gosh. bro. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's, I was hoping we would talk about this because I'm so happy. Look, uh, look, look. Hold on. Isn't that cheaper than fucking I, I, I had? Yes. yes. These were 200, bro. I've got AirPods. a pair of AirPods sitting right here with me. And those yeah, those 200. are cheaper than AirPods. And orange, I just want to let y'all know orange is like one of the best I'm brands. Yo, straight. Right, look. Yeah, let's go. Look. That's them. I had to screenshot it. How pretty is that, man? Look, Dude, I want Riggles, some. Look, go to uh, Orange. I think it's uh, OrangeAmps dot com. Fuck. Uh huh. Yeah, I might have to fucking nut on those. They got that orange fabric on the on the <laughs> inside the ear cushion. Damn, they are fucking beautiful. Would you nut on them? I would. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Uh, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him know. Yeah, I was like <laughs> flipping through an- Instagram and it was like orange headphones. I was like, this is fake. Orange don't make headphones. What the fuck? So I go to their Jeez. actual website and lo and behold, man, there they are. Fucking orange headphones. Orange. What? Dude. And right, only man. $116. And they're, they got, uh, I don't know if you can read on there, Brandon, but they got studio, their reference, like in your studio monitors. Like you can so use like them a- in the studio. So they're perfect for beats. Yes. That's what they're made for. Oh my good god, bro! Yes. I'm finna be in this. I'm gonna be in the crib writing music all uh, fucking. Dude, day, imagine bro. just being able to get up and walk around and listen to it and just walk. Yes. Just get up and walk around and just hear it. When have you already ordered them? No, not yet. I'm doing mine next week. <laughs> what color did you get? You need some too, huh? You you need a pair too. I don't got money till next week, bro. I have. I still have to work. <laughs> I didn't get any of that sweet. I uh, definitely. Uh, you know what? Shouts out to the people who did get unemployment. Like I love that for y'all. Right. I also did not collect unemployment I because not. I wasn't employed before this. Fair. But I yeah. also didn't get any stimmy money either. But that's I didn't okay. get this. I didn't get my stimulus check either, bro. What the fuck's up with that shit, bro? Is it because I'm not working a job right now? I'm confused. I think so. Yeah. Because uh, I did my taxes, bro. I don't, I don't know. Do I have friends that have been waiting like months? How did you get your tax money like refunded to you? Was it direct deposit? Was it prior to April 15th or? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't did know you, how any Did you do your works. taxes prior to April 15th? Mm. Uh, it might just, I don't know, maybe. Well, if you beat the deadline, it could just be a processing thing. Dude, you got to remember they're. Yeah, it's like sure. a That's a lot of people. Thousand, it's like 100,000 people just in Arkansas. Yeah, that's. That's a sm- yeah. we a small state. Yeah, and imagine a place like fucking California. They're unemployment rate right now. My God. Yeah, fucking kick a motherfucker in the nuts and call it a day, dude. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Like, what the fuck is happening, dude? It's like, man, I'm lucky. I'm 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 one of the very few that can make it with that one. But <sighs> shit, I know there's people out there pissed. Yo, and I'm, out there. I'm not bitching at all, and I'm and I actually wanted to say that during this podcast too. I'm not. I, I didn't realize how lucky I was to be so, set, like financially okay because I am allowed to work like until you know later after my last podcast because I titled it like quarantine boring team like I was so bored and I was bitching about petty shit but then I have friends who are like I can't pay my fucking rent I just got kicked out of my house I'm like ooh maybe I should just like not take a break for a second yeah maybe I should just calm the fuck down because I'm all right I'm not like the best. But I'm all right. I can eat, and that's really all that matters. So I should just shut up. 
Right. You know? I feel you. It was, I didn't realize it had gotten that bad. But, you know, in my defense, I guess, I didn't realize it was like, oh, I can't fucking live in my house anymore bad. I right. thought we were still like, oh, there's no toilet paper in the shelves, you know? Man, just know I fucking bought 18 rolls of toilet paper before I came back to Arkansas. <laughs> and I left every single one of them. <laughs> and somebody else probably done used them up. Oh, definitely. I <laughs> hope <laughs> I hope my boys definitely used that shit up. <laughs> Fuck. Bought it for them. Fuck it. Yeah. Them well, they're saying this is going to happen. They're saying this is going to round two. I hope y'all think of me when y'all wipe y'all's ass. Uh, <laughs> do y'all do y'all think do y'all think uh, that's what I think it's going to be a two year wait because you know they're saying this is going to happen again, okay. like towards towards the holidays. Well, once it starts to cool off, probably cool, the air, yeah, the air temperature apparently plays a big role in this. But uh, well, dude, if it pops again, it. if it pops again, it's definitely going to be two years, right? Till we're like, till we're back to like festival style, shoulder shoulder, like having a good time, Coachella style shit, and that's yeah. how long. You, is that River. shit still going to be around? Is there going to be Coachella? Is there going to be people wanting to profit off of that type of shit? Right. Is, is, uh, I really is hope my- that we take this time for bigger artists from now until there is a Coachella to drop their price a little bit. I think that's kind of crazy. Uh, it's hard to even start festivals due to the insane the amount insane of amount. money. And Which that I really mean. plays a large portion into why people have to... Uh, you know, charge yes, a crazy a amount yeah. Yeah. for each ticket. I, and you know, it's whatever. And a lot of artists were already going to like, oh, I only play five shows a year. And they're all oh. festivals. You know, like a lot of big yep. names. It's like, well, Most you only definitely. see them a couple times And they want to be charging like 300, exactly. 500,000 a show. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I looked at that shit. It's crazy. Fucking some of them guys are up there in the mid, you know, one, oh, 1.5 a show easy. per show. Oh, easy. It's like, I oh, bet Drake's crazy. 100%. <laughs> I bet, I bet Drake makes 2 million a night. Easy. And that's just door sales. That's not merch. Oh, Fucking, he dude. probably getting a cut of the liquor. <laughs> like, have, you, have you seen this man's like damn near castle? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. I've been there. <laughs> have you really? Damn. Yeah, bro. He said I could uh, come over anytime I want. Oh shit! Fancy. He got. I, I'm I'm over here trying to think of like. Oh, we could do like a hundred person venue, and do it like streaming. <laughs> like, Man, I, I would cast. love to do a streaming festival. <gasps> I think it's happening. I think that somebody's working on that. Right? Come on. It's, yeah, it's probably uh, already in the works. Right? I would love to do that, man. We Especially could do it. After a fortnight, do what they did with Travis Scott. Yep. There's got to be somebody out there that's like, oh, this is we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, you gotta, people yep. are going to have to push the boundaries of live performance. And, and I think we're really going to yeah. see. I think in a couple Parts. months, especially when people can't go back, I think I think right now what you're seeing is a lot of people, like especially in the bigger, I'm not talking about the local guys because a lot of local people are streaming for sure. I think the bigger guys are like, let's just wait and see, and if it comes back, then we'll do shows like regular. I don't think that shit's going to happen, dude. And then I think they're going to get real wild with it. You know what I'm saying? They possibly could, for sure. Like, uh, I mean, clearly they did the Travis Scott thing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I mean, really, if you can get on any crazy platform like that, like, I yes. don't know exactly how many people are on Fortnite, but I'm sure there is a, a lot. Yeah. And a lot of them are young, impressionable kids. So yes. what do you know? You got an artist that's... P- Popping on, you're already going to be tied to that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They're going to want to stream your stuff if you're on a platform like that. So you're saying you're going to see a lot It's of similar like, to like TikTok too. Yeah. So um, you're thinking like a lot of collaboration type things? Uh, with, with streaming platforms, mm-hmm. most definitely. Like I'm sure what you're talking about with Twitch, Twitch might eventually take that idea and actually put something to that right. where you can like – hey, for this night, I'm going to charge to stream a show. You know what I'm saying? Almost, They'll eventually come out with that because it only makes sense. It I mean, and cents make dollars, all right? Yeah. So essentially, they're going to make money off of it, so it only makes sense for them to do it. They'd make money off of it right now. Yeah, for sure. SOML, my album, just went number one on Billboard. No shit. Yep. 
Damn. Yep, just went number one on Billboard. It went platinum last week. I think it's about to go gold. Damn, platinum before gold. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, man. Oh shit! I thought you, gold is just the number one. Nah, pl- a diamond is the biggest. And there's only like two albums ever that did that. Well, you know where they made diamonds at Arkansas. That's right. Yeah, we got more diamonds in Arkansas than they got in Africa. But yes, <laughs> we do all this bullshit to get anyway. Uh, Anyways, yeah. Murfreesboro. Yeah, man. <laughs> Murphy's bro, I I know. Have you ever been there? Fuck no, dude. Have you ever been there? I ain't from here. <laughs> no. Nah. Shit. I know Johnny Cash's old house is like up that way. That's the only thing I'd want to go see. Johnny Cash That'd taught me. Johnny Cash taught me how to play guitar. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Damn. You met everybody. Story, Just some wild stories. I mean, he died when you were born, but that's cool. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. He came back in. He came back to me in a dream, bro. Oh, shit. He's like, this is a G chord. He <laughs> came back it. to me in a fever dream. A fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he came back to me in a fever dream when I was sick with uh, uh, COVID 2020 last year. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I thought I had I thought I had it because I was pretty sick, but like, I Do you think up- you might have, dude? I, I I mean everybody you know we all had those friends who are like man I thought I had Corona last year man I had that shit last I year had a like, few man friends you ain't who you ain't have that shit last fuck. year bro you just had to yeah all I gotta, dude hey look man all I gotta say is Johnny Cash came to me in a fever dream with and Corona I, twenty two yeah. and he taught me how to play guitar bro holy shit well I already knew how to play guitar I just knew I just only knew how to read tabs <laughs> yo you can read tabs. I actually I can read tabs. Nice. I'm not. Uh, I'm all by ear. I can't. I can't read music and shit, dude. It fucks me up. Oh shit, babe. What? I ain't gonna lie. We left your card there on tap. What? We gonna have to go back there, to that restaurant. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to this restaurant because I also left my credit card there. So, speaking of tabs. Oh no. <laughs> Speaking oh, of tabs, shit. it's all good. I'm sure they'll be open tonight. I thought you said on tap. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? A tab. Oh, you tab. still got it tabbed out. You never tabbed it. <laughs> I forgot to tab out, man. I came. To, I, can't, I had to crash the crash cast. Oh, I'm so honored, dude. <laughs> I had to crash the crash cast, man. I Damn forgot it. to tab out. We went out the wrong entrance. Hey, but hey, man, you know, all real ones make mistakes and shit. You feel me? I do. So we'll probably fuck. just go back and get more drinks on this fucking tab. Yeah, fuck you know, he might as well. It's fucking you leave Wednesday. You got partied up pretty hard, huh? Yeah. Right. I say, hey, my well, card's still on tab. As hard as you can, I guess. And I say I need five white claws. Boom. There's hey, no actually, the speaking claws, of tab, baby. hand me one of them bush lights, man. Are they empty? Shit. Yeah. I just opened this one. There's no drinks. Is it cold? I didn't drink it yet. It's it's full, dude. Look, it's right at the rim. I didn't drink it. I just opened it. Oh, fire! It's kind of chilly. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Oh my god! Yeah, mm, that was good. I spilled that there a little bit because I had to get the full taste. <laughs> it's okay. It's bush light, so it's actually you can clean the floor with it too because it's <laughs> it's basically water. <laughs> okay, okay. It's water with a little bit of bush. That's it. Make me a little bit of bush. Old lady bush. Damn it! A little trim. I'm taking it too far. Trim? How old are you? <laughs> 1970s a little trim a little trim on the hedges <laughs> damn it dude y'all wanna wrap this shit up shit I mean man I like it raw <laughs> <laughs> alright man yeah man. we can dude we're, we can, we're yeah. like 120 that's perfect that's perfect podcast Hell yeah man length. shout out to Maniac thank Sounds you, thank you buddy for coming on Brandon thanks shout for letting us use beautiful house Shout out to Crash Kid. The first episode back, man. It's the yeah, first episode in the books. Boom. I'm going to do like hey. one or two a month, though. I'm not going to overdo also, it. Also, if you have not listened to like prior episodes, go back. Stream that shit. Listen right. to it. There's the Goon like episode's good great. content. Yeah. Also, if you need an album to stream, go ahead. Plug it. Plug everything. Go listen to Tan the Terrible, SOML, Sama, Story of My Life, 10 Tracks, Straight Fire, Listen to it all the way through. 
has Tommy from Terminal Nation on it. And it's got KD, Johnny Vine. It's got fucking Gunde Garcons, Lil Cobain. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram, at Tan the Terrible. Twitter, at Tan the Terrible. Just at Tan the Terrible on literally fucking everything. And shout out Maniac Sounds. Bam. Boom. That's great. All right, everybody. Anything? Nah, man. Y'all have a great fucking day. Y'all too, man. Thank you for listening. <laughs>